Today marks a dark day in American history, the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. So Dave Yonkai, author of the Luke Lulac Political Letter, is here to talk about why there is such a strong local reaction to JFK's death. Dave, thank you so much for being here today. I'm very happy to be here. All right, why don't you start with your thoughts on this day? Well, what I think about today is basically our, is the word generation. And I'll tell you why I feel that, because the people who were not alive when John Kennedy was assassinated, they basically look at him as frozen in time. He's never gonna get any older. He is basically going to be a rock star celebrity president that they only know from the history books. My generation, and I have to thank you very much for inviting me here today because I, I feel as if I'm not speaking for David Yonkai or the LULAC political letter, but I'm speaking for thousands of people in your viewing area that are of my age. And John Kennedy was our television president. And we were television children. We grew up in the 1950s with black and white television. John Kennedy was on TV with presidential news conferences. And he was familiar to us because of television. And when he was assassinated, it was a defining moment for us. I can't tell you the number of people I've talked to this week who remember where they were, sure. what their mom was wearing when they came home from school that day, you know, the reaction. So my generation is really personal. Sure, and so why was the local reaction here in Northeastern Pennsylvania so strong? I think because Kennedy came here in 1960 in an incredible motorcade that started all the way down in Allentown, wound its way through school Kill County in Pottsville, came up through Hazleton, came down th through Sugar Notch, and through um, Ashley, then Wilkesbury, then the West Side, then through Pittston. Hundreds of thousands of people, at least half a million people, lined the streets in northeastern Pennsylvania seeing him. When I was a kid, I was six years old, he came up through Pittston, I saw him, and Brittany, it was almost like a black and white photo, and all of a sudden, in that black and white, white photo, there was like this color in the photo because he was um, he was lit by a spotlight and all you could see was this reddish brown hair and this tan and this huge grin. I was told later that Governor David Lawrence was in the car with them and Congressman Dan Flood, but nobody noticed those guys. All eyes were on Kennedy. Wow. And there was a personal connection because so many people in Northeastern Pennsylvania saw him. There was the fact that he was the first Catholic president, Irish president. And you know, the weekend after he died, in Roman Catholic churches all across Luzerne County in Northeastern Pennsylvania, they gave out prayer cards with his face on it. The Pope died earlier that year in 1963. They didn't do that for the Pope. Wow, what an amazing story to tell and recap and remember firsthand. David Yonkai, thank you so much. If folks need to contact you or, or want to read your... It is the LULAC political letter dot blog spot, and all you have to do is just Google LULAC, and thank you very much for having me here. Thank you so much for sharing your memories today. Thank you. David Yonkai, thank you.